So I'm here with Steven Souza. We're at the uh, Base by Pros kind of fan fest event. And, and Steven, it's, it's always fun to see ball players come back and interact with the kids. But for you as a ball player, what is it like to see these kids who are dreaming like you were one day? Yeah, it's a great reminder of you know where I started, why I started playing the game, and um, just seeing the smile on the kids' faces and how much fun they're having here, uh, and the impact that we can have on them. I think when I was a young kid, you know, I really enjoyed any time I got to meet uh, a major league player, and so you know, uh, it's good for this community to know that hey, we got a lot of major league players that have come from here, and a, a kid can look at us and say, hey, you know, they made it from here, and we can make it too. And you mentioned, you know, the Northwest sometimes gets overlooked baseball-wise. You know, people will see it for other sports, but baseball is kind of the, an afterthought, it seems like. Are there things that you're hoping to accomplish to kind of really bring more attention to the Northwest? Yeah, I'm just, we're just trying to rally kind of the, the Little League teams and community and, and take the Major League players and get them more involved with the Little Leaguers um, so that they can, you know, receive uh, instruction that we know at the highest level and really, you know, maybe take what's a kind of a... Uh, a needle in a haystack in Washington in, in, in baseball and take it into something that now we're, uh, we're getting little leaguers and, and, and you know high schoolers into something that uh, is really cool. And then, you know, talking about kids, you know, growing up, playing, making the next level, you know, you can't do it by yourself. You always have to have someone um, who's, you know, supporting you, encouraging you. Who in your life was that encouragement and that support to make you successful? Yeah, I mean, my parents always told me to work hard and push me, and they were always there supporting me. Um, and they were just, they were amazing as, in my childhood. And then, you know, as I got older, uh, Brent has been an unbelievable uh, influence in my life and just pushing me to become not only a better player, but a better man and a better teammate um, and that's changed my life drastically and so uh, those people have just uh, I owe a lot to and then for you you've actually played with a few different organizations you know what is it like to kind of have to go through that uh, that change of, of mentality when you go from one organization to the next you know whether it's being free agent or, or traded whatever what, what is it like for you as a player yeah it's a lot harder than people think uh, I think that when you know maybe when you stay in the same division it's a little easier of a transition because you're used to everything you're just really changing your jersey but you know I went from a, a division in the AL East to the NL West which I knew nothing about and so learning new teammates learning the other team learning managers it's a big culture change and uh, you know we're all creatures of habit so um, having something that you're used to ripped out of you it, it, it takes a little bit of a time to recognize it and then you know for here at the, the Base by Pros event tonight it's also a fundraiser for um, an organization that really kind of tries to impact uh, young girls lives uh, can you tell me a little bit about that and kind of how you got involved? Yeah, so my wife and I took a mission trip in 2014, I believe, and uh, we just really are heart broke for these girls. Uh, we went over there to serve and help in, in specifically this organization that uh, a friend of mine, Brian Hommel, had talked to us about. And when we got there and just um, the change that these girls uh, were making that we saw, uh, that the impact that Josie, who runs the program, uh, was making, and um, not only that, but just the situation they were originally in and how far they'd come. Uh, really, you know, we had a heart for them. And so we started the campaign of every homer we hit, we donated $1,000 in 2017. And, uh, you know, God blessed us and allowed us to, allowed me to hit 30 homers. And so we could really bless that, uh, that organization. And now just trying to spread the word and get more people as involved as possible. Yeah, and, and so it's it's Consider the Lily. Um, and I said, you and your wife have been, you know, pretty passionate about it lately. And, and uh, you know, what's it like to see people here? You know, they're coming here for an event, but they're also being very supportive of that organization. It's really amazing. I mean, you know, we we get so caught up in our routines and our lives and our day-to-day -day busyness, and we all have our families and kids and jobs and everything, but for everybody to kind of step out for a minute and not only enjoy, you know, meeting a couple big leaguers, but uh, giving their time and money to consider the Lily, it means a lot. And, uh, you know, I don't think that they really understand the impact that they're having on these girls' lives. And last question I have for you, you know, you know, we talked about in order to be here, you had to have people supporting you. What advice would you give to the, that younger generation, whether it be, you know, boys playing baseball, girls playing softball? What advice do you have for them for them to succeed in, in not just the game but in life? Yeah, have fun and do your homework. I think, you know, we've we've turned into a culture where sports has been so elevated, um, and sometimes it's been elevated above academics, and that's just not 
uh, how life works out. You know, there's only such a handful of uh, kids that make it to the big leagues, and I hope everybody you know that I come in contact makes it. But that's just not reality. And so uh, I would just you know recommend that just have fun while you're doing it. Enjoy the the, the kids you're playing with, your friends. Um, but in the end, at the end of the day, do your homework, um, and that's going to set you up for uh, a better a better future. Awesome. Well, thank you very much. Yeah, thanks for having me.